welcome to Backyard Bows. Hey, welcome to Backyard Bows. I'm Brandon, and today we are going to take a look at the Ultra View thumb button. So, uh, if you've been following us along on Instagram, you'll realize we've been going at it with the releases. Uh, I probably had 10 to 12 different releases in house, and we have narrowed it down to three. So, the best for 100, around $100, the best one for around $200, and then what I would say the best investment you can make. Uh, so, we have the Ultra View here, UV button. Um, it comes in two different options. So you have a steel one, which is a little bit heavier, and then you have the aluminum one here. I usually like for a handheld release to have um, a nice weighted uh, release in my hand, but because this thumb barrel is so big, I think this one actually has some nice substance. So I went with the aluminum one. This one feels really, really good to me. The reason that this one is top on our list is because of its versatility. And we will go over in all the different ways that you can customize this thing. I think it's incredible what they did. You can tell that they put a lot of time and effort engineering this thing. Um, and even though it is not the smoothest one on my list, this is probably the best investment. If you're willing to spend the money, you're getting your money's worth with this for sure. So first thing, it, you can buy a couple different attachments. You can remove this third finger piece. This is how it comes standard uh, with three fingers. You can remove this one and add one that has a fourth finger. And then you can actually just remove it completely and just use it as a two finger if you wanted to. Um, Another thing, this thumb barrel, which we just mentioned, it is nice and big. I love the texture of this. This has kind of been a debate I've heard over and over again. People either liked it or they didn't like it. Again, it's just preference. I love it. I think it grips your hand. It grips your thumb. Some of the, I mean, it just feels so good. They have a different option, one that you can put on here that doesn't have as many rivets. Uh, but I actually love the one that comes on it. It's nice and big. Like I said, it looks sharp, but it's not, but it does grip you really, really nice. And if you undo that bolt, you can maneuver this thumb piece, which is one of my favorite parts, up, in, out, around. It almost goes 180 degrees on a swivel. This thing, you can get it in any position that you want. I love that. And then once you lock it down, if you apply some pressure and really crank down, you can lock that thing in where it is not moving or adjusting at all, which I think is important because some do want to move a little bit on you. And I think to get consistency, that is uh, very valuable that that thing locks down as tight as it does. My second favorite thing is this little magnetic locking piece right here. So after you shoot, you know, this will flap down. It's magnetic, but this locking piece, I love. It honestly is so sensitive that you can just press it on. You can lock it out and press it onto your D loop, which is usually, you know, a very flexible string. You can just push that on without having to guide it on. Now you can guide it on if you want to, but I honestly have found if you hit it at the right angle, you can just push right through that thing. And then once it's on, it's extremely secure. So if you wanna hang it on there and leave it on there while you're hunting, walking in, stalking, whatever you wanna do, you can be, re be reassured that it's not coming off. Uh, maybe more in the beginning of the season, because as you know, you leave one of these hanging on your D-loop in the, uh, the, the, you know, the real cold winter months, these things get fucking cold. Uh, most of the time, I would have this in my pocket if I was hunting with a handheld release, because man, that gets almost, you know, almost unbearable to touch. But in the earlier months, it's nice to kind of just leave it on. I love the attention to detail they put in this. If you look on the top of it, it has a little description and a rotation for you to be able to adjust this thing to fit you comfortably and perfectly. So uh, let's go over that. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is gonna take your force or your tension, uh, the amount of um, force that is applied to the button to release it. You're gonna to wanna to back that all the way out until it can't be backed out anymore. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your travel. The travel is the distance that the button actually moves and adjusts, okay? Um, you're gonna to wanna to put that all the way in until you hear it click. Once it clicks and it's not allowed to lock back out, that means you're all the way in. Now we can start adjusting it to you. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do after you get it to click out is going to wanna to readjust your travel out a couple, maybe a turn, a half a turn or a turn, just so you can get this to lock back out and now we can start customizing it. Um, I actually like a little bit of travel to mine. They recommend that you have little to no travel. I like a little give, so I actually backed it out an entire another turn, maybe even a little bit more. And then I started messing around with my force or the tension. Again, the tension can be as sensitive as you want it, but the one thing that I really do like about this is if you do max it out, 
it has a lot of tension to it. So again, a nice wide range of hunters. Everybody has different preferences, different feels. Um, and I love that because we are all so different. So any company and any piece of equipment that you can customize to you and your feel, um, I think that is the way to go, especially when you can get into the highest of quality like this. I maybe did it two full turns on the tension or the force. I kind of got it right, perfect, where I like it. Uh, and then, and you can do all this just in your hand. You can mess with it, adjust it, mess with it, adjust it, see how it feels, and then start slinging some arrows and then you can kind of microly tune each of those to get that perfect feel as you're shooting. And I got this one to feel just how I want it. The guy who I borrowed this from is not gonna like it that I mess with it, but he can kind of go back to the drawing board and get it back how he likes it. But um, let's go outside here in a second. We are gonna sling a whole bunch of arrows. We'll do a little freestyle shoot with it. Then we'll give you our final thoughts on it. We'll also test the sound. They say this is a really, really quiet one. This would be one of the first releases that we've reviewed, so we don't have anything to compare it to, but we will put it up to the decibel reader and see how loud that initial click is and how loud the release is. Something else that we will test but uh, let's go outside, let's sling a whole bunch. So what we'll do is we'll do kind of what we do with the bows and we'll do a little freestyle shoot. We'll shoot at all these targets out here. We'll really give this thing some reps. For somebody who doesn't normally use a handheld release, I think this has been one of the most comfortable and easiest to make that adjustment. Man, this thing is awesome. All right, final thoughts. Uh, I, I obviously want to see what the hype's all about when it comes to different uh, pieces of equipment. And I, and I will say, I think this is probably one of the best quality releases on the market. Not to mention the craftsmanship in this is incredible. It is just, you can tell that somebody really put their time uh, when designing and making this thing. It's super easy to use, super smooth. I love that because like I just mentioned a little bit ago, uh, handheld release is not my release of choice. So going back and forth from a wrist release to a handheld release sometimes is a little difficult. I think the transition from that to this was just as a breeze. Um, I will say it's a little bit on the pricier side. So 300 bucks, 300 plus dollars, that's a lot uh, for a handheld release. But if you're somebody that that is not necessarily factoring in, you are definitely getting the highest of quality with this. Um, I love what UltraView is doing, can't wait to see what's next.